I am Devlin Steele, Director of Education at Augusta Precious Metals. Summer is in full swing, but it doesn't mean the economic data slows down. And there's going to be plenty of it this week. Here's just some of what we'll have our eye on. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. Among this week's most anticipated numbers is likely to be the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation measure. The Bureau of Economic Analysis is set to reveal the PCE price index for May on Friday. PCE inflation numbers for May are expected to demonstrate both relief and stickiness in price pressures. On a monthly basis, the PCE index is projected to have climbed 0.2% in May, down from 0.4% in April. Economists think the annual number slowed as well, decelerating to 4.1% from the rate of 4.4% in April. The inflation stickiness I mentioned is expected to be evident in core PCE numbers as well. The core PCE price index, which excludes food and energy prices, is projected to have climbed 4.5% in May on an annual basis, down slightly from 4.7% in April. Other data we'll be watching this week includes the S&P CoreLogic Case-Shiller Home Price Index for April. The index is expected to show that prices for single-family homes in the U.S. rose 0.8% month-over-month in April, after climbing 1.5% in March. However, it's believed the annual number will reveal that sales in April fell 1.5% year-over-year. Finally, the Bureau of Economic Analysis will be back to give us the third and final estimate of gross domestic product for the first quarter. It's expected this last estimate will show that first quarter GDP actually came in at 1.4% which would be a tenth of a point higher than the BEA's second estimate released near the end of May. That's it for now. We'll be back at the end of the week to share the biggest economic developments. This is Devlin Steele for Augusta Precious Metals, signing out.